Hi everyone, I've had a chance to begin looking over the essays from week one and I thought all of you did a great job. Since we don't get to see each other's papers, I just wanted to highlight a few of the topics that were discussed. They were very interesting and there were a lot of very cool comparisons and contrasts between cultures. So the first compare contrast that I took a look at had to do with differences between marriage in American culture and Niger Africa. This paper talked a little bit about how 75% of marriages take place to women that are under the age of 18. So we talked mainly about the differences between uh, the acceptability of child marriage in Niger, Africa, and uh, American practices where this is not as acceptable. Um, they marry often for financial reasons, religious reasons, and so I just wanted to point out a few of those differences. Another really interesting topic was on adultery practices in the United States and how uh, some of the old Puritan laws still have maintained themselves on the books in certain states. And so adultery is still illegal in 23 states. Uh, and so the person that wrote the paper on adultery compared and contrasted the different views of states. So I wanted to highlight that sometimes these cultural differences can be seen even between states within our own culture. And we did talk a little bit about that during our first week. Um, the person also pointed out that the laws on adultery are mostly ignored at this time even though they're still on the books. So I thought that was some interesting information to share with you. Another topic that was discussed was divorce in American culture versus African culture. And this student pointed out that in American culture, divorce is mostly accepted. Um, there are still some beliefs that make it un unacceptable mostly for religious reasons. However, in Africa, it still is immoral to get divorced. And I thought this was a very interesting compare contrast between the two cultures, so I wanted to highlight it. Another uh, paper talked about the role of women and women's rights in Saudi Arabia and also in Mexico, and how in Mexico women play a more traditional role, uh, maybe something that we saw back in the 1950s, 1960s, where women were staying at home and taking care of the family instead of working and uh, doing you know, business practices and having a career. Uh, the student also mentioned in Saudi Arabia the practice, of course, of covering a woman's face and their uh, modestly dressed uh, bodies as compared to uh, the, the way we dress here in America. Um, and I know in South Florida, you know, dress is, it's warm all the time and uh, many people will wear their bathing suits to the store, uh, bikinis even. So it's a little different here in South Florida, even from, you know, other states. So I thought I'd point that out. Um, and then the final paper that I'd like to touch on today was about the Yanomami tribe uh, versus American death practices or death rituals. Now the Yanomami tribe, this student pointed out, has a very different practice of um, funeral rites. So once a person dies in that culture, they burn their flesh and they um, grind it into a powder and then they drink it in a plantain soup. And this student did an excellent job of pointing out why these practices were so important in the culture, as well as comparing that to American culture and discussing our own funeral uh, and death rituals. So those are the highlights of some of the papers, and I hope you have enjoyed this brief video.